Things are starting to finally heat up for Wolves in the transfer window. We could well see three new Wolves players in the coming days. My name is Dave from Talking Wolves, giving you guys the latest on what is going on in and around Molyneux at the moment. Guys, let me know your thoughts with what's happening. It's been a really busy day so far when you work full time and you, then you've got to be tweeted and looking for Wolves news as well. I felt like uh, Bruce Almighty at one point uh, today, but it's... Um, yeah, really looking forward to the next few days as a Wolves fan. Of course, we play West Ham United, which our preview is out for. Um, and three points in that game would be massive. But Lopetegui, the Lopetegui era has uh, certainly started and is na in now full effect. Let's kick off with the news and rumours. Mario Lamina is officially a Wolves player. Uh, Wolves haven't quite announced it as of yet, but Lopetegui spoke about it in his pre-match press conference today. In fact, as I speak... Wolves may well have already confirmed this news, but he's been spotted outside Molyneux today. He's had his medical and he has joined Wolves for in and around 10 million euros. Uh, he said his goodbyes came off the bench for Nice uh, during the week in a comfortable win for them over Montpellier. Uh, his wife had put a message on her Instagram saying, nice to meet you, which sort of insinuated that um, he was going to be leaving the club and it accelerated on Thursday. Their board had accepted the offer and he has come to England uh, and completed a deal to sign for Wolves. Of course, Wolves wanted to get um, at least one more midfielder in short term because of the injury to Bubakar Traore. Lamina is obviously a very talented footballer, but unfortunately had a couple of issues a number of years ago when he was at Southampton. He's been and played for Juventus, Galatasaray, uh, Fulham on loan when they were last in the Premier League and obviously done quite well so far this season for Nice. Um, but in the coming days, of course, we'll do a full in-depth video on him. Yulan Lopetegui has said that he would he could be available and in the squad for tomorrow's game against West Ham United, uh, which would be really, really interesting to see if he takes part in that match. I'm sure if Wolves have the lead or a comfortable lead, we may well see Lamina get some minutes tomorrow, which would be obviously fantastic. So Mario Lamina to Wolves is a done deal. Um, the second signing for Wolves since Mateus Cunha um, and his deal obviously already complete as well for Wolves. Uh, let's quickly talk about uh, another player that may well be joining Wolves. Wolves, a medical said to potentially take place over the weekend and it's from PSG Pablo Sarabia um, again this move has gone very very quickly it was only reported yesterday by Spanish outlet AS uh, that Wolves had an interest and put an offer forward towards PSG who were looking at the offer um, he's not a player that they were desperate to sell but he was on a fairly decent wage there uh, they wanted to free up a little bit of uh, their wage bill and of course Wolves are putting an offer for him now the beauty of Wolves and PSG right now is obviously with George Mendes um, the director of football at, at PSG right now is Portuguese has got very close ties with George Mendes which makes this deal um, quite favourable for Wolves because PSG obviously want to get him off the wage bill uh, which means they're open to having a half de you know looking at a half decent offer and Wolves have apparently agreed a 5 million euro deal for Sarabia plus bonuses so it, so it could reach up to about 7 million euros in total now, Sarabia had a fantastic campaign last season for Sporting, where he was on loan. He scored 15 league goals and got eight assists. In all competitions last season, he scored 22 goals uh, and got 10 assists overall. Predominantly playing as a right winger, but can play also as a centre forward, left winger, or as a number 10. So it will be really interesting to see where Lopetegui would play and deploy, uh, deploy him. He's managed him twice before, once for the Spain youth teams, and there was a slight crossover when both of them were at Sevilla as well. Lopetegui apparently had Sarabia as one of his top uh, targets for this window and that would be a fantastic signing for Wolves, especially for that value. Another transfer that could well happen very, very quickly. Uh, it was broken last night in Brazil that Wolves were very close to signing João Gomes from Flamengo, an extremely talented uh, midfielder, can play as a defensive midfielder as well um, and details are being sorted for the midfielder to join the club it said that uh, the player is given his okay and yes to join Wolves the deal will be around 17 million euros the clubs are still exchanging the documents as we speak he would join the club on a five-year deal and um, now he was with Flamengo today at their training ground but did not take part 
in their training and it said on Monday most probably he would travel to England to complete his medical checks and so on but an extremely talented uh, player there that Wolves are looking to sign had been heavily linked with some of the biggest clubs around the world over the last 12 months or so so once again it'll be really interesting to see what this brings for Wolves again we'll do a full in-depth video on him when it's uh, close or announced now We've, we've spoken there about three good footballers, Lamina, Sarabia um, and uh, João Gomez. Now, the interesting thing for Wolves would be, is it Wolves strengthening and really getting some depth in there? Or are they almost getting ready-made replacements if or when players leave in the summer? Now, of course... This is something I always looked at Leicester for doing quite well. Of course, they're not playing fantastically this season, but in previous years, they'd always brought in players and, and, and do quite well with that. But with Wolves at the moment, uh, of course, Nunes, Neves and Martinho are all, could all leave in the summer. Martinho, with his contract expiring, Neves um, in a similar situation, but wanted by some big clubs. And obviously, Nunes linked with Liverpool. But on, on the flip side of that, looking at it, at it more positively, I always remember what Bruno Lars said, that to keep Neves and to keep your best players, you have to sign bit good players to, to play around them as well. And, and that might well be what Wolves are doing here. So it will be interesting to see um, because as of right now, there's not many players linked with a move away from Wolves in this window. So let's wait and see on that one. Wolves, of course, as well this week have been linked with two West Ham United players. The first one being Craig Dawson, centre-back. Wolves were close to signing him in the summer, uh, but the West Ham replacement didn't go through. David Moyes today in his pre-match press conference for the game against Wolves has said that Wolves have lodged a bid for Craig Dawson, but West Ham are yet to accept that offer. I don't know if that means they've re rejected it and refused it or they've stalled at the moment and don't know whether to say yes, possibly until they've got a replacement in. The other player Wolves are looking at from West Ham United is Mikel Antonio. Again, another player that Wolves have had a long-term interest in. Uh, Lopetegui is said to be a fan of him, probably because of his energy that he brings. We see this forward line, Wolves and Lopetegui trying to press uh, the defence and goalkeeper of opposition teams. Um, with Mikel Antonio, as it stands right now, West Ham are said to be reluctant to let him leave this month, um, especially with Wolves being, you could class at the moment, a relegation rival. Um, obviously, if the stance changes from West Ham uh, this month, Wolves could make a move before the end of January. But as it stands, that one does seem unlikely. Um, we spoke just about Craig Dawson and uh, as a defender. Um, that may well be because Wolves' other target is Atletico Madrid's Felipe. Now, it was said earlier in this week by a Spanish journalist on Sky Sports News that Wolves are still in talks with, the, with Felipe and things could change quite quickly. Uh, Everton are also said now to be interested in Felipe, but it doesn't seem to be advancing quick enough, obviously, for Wolves' liking. So that may well be why Craig Dawson, with the Premier League, experience is is also up for grabs there at the moment so with Felipe at the moment it just doesn't seem to be going anywhere fast Raul Jimenez has been linked with Besiktas this week they've just let Valt Veghorst go he's set to join Manchester United so they will need a replacement striker Jimenez not really doing fantastically so far didn't get off to the best of starts with Lopetegui with the manager not really liking the way that Jimenez went about the whole World Cup situation um, but as of right now Jimenez is a Wolves player probably will stay this month but Besiktas are a team looking at his situation at the moment um, and quickly to end as well two Bristol City players the first one being uh, the youngster Alex Scott I think we spoke a little bit about him on the last video um, really talented young midfielder playing in the championship right now Wolves have uh, been in talks with Bristol City to try and broker a deal for Alex Scott. But at the moment, it seems unlikely. Is Bristol City want £25 million pounds, uh, for him. He's an England under-20 international. And Wolves are really keen on him, but of course, don't look really want to be spending that money um, and will move on this month if the price doesn't change. Now, it'll be interesting to see if João Gomez or Mario Lamina are the alternatives to signing Alex Scott, but at the moment, that one does seem very unlikely. The other Bristol City player, uh, it was linked uh, in the last day or so that David Bentley, uh, Daniel Bentley, sorry, not David Bentley, uh, Daniel Bentley, the Bristol City goalkeeper, is also a potential target uh, for Wolves. Of course, we said earlier in the month it was broken by Express and Star that Wolves are open at looking uh, for a goalkeeper to push Jose Sarr uh, we're not sure where that leaves Mateo Sarkic right now. 
Uh, but Daniel Bentley may well be a target for Wolves as well. But guys, that is all for today's transfer news and rumours. Of course, there'll be lots of videos coming out over the weekend in the next few days. We'll have the West Ham reaction, the fans react, and I'm sure we'll be doing two or three transfer videos as well, uh, probably across Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So be sure to keep your eye out for those. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Your support means a lot. Hit that like button as well. Uh, unfortunately, if some of you may have been get, trying to get in contact with me on my Twitter page. For some reason, Twitter have suspended my account right now. I'm trying to get that fixed, but if you want to get in touch, with me feel free to dm the talking walls account or drop us a comment in the comment section down below and i'll keep an eye out for it but enjoy the rest of your weekend guys hopefully walls can get three points against the hammers and i'll see you next time